YouTube banned and deleted this entire video, and it's extremely important that you watch this whole video so that you understand why. We're gonna show you. We've been going through over 6,000 emails from Town Hall, dating all the way back to 2007, incriminating Rosemary Severino and Mary Mary. Emails are scary. With all this new information coming out about the Severinos again, against the Meeks, but now they're in front of Town Hall going, we're taking our town back! And you've got individuals standing up and clapping, hallelujah! Uh, what do you want back? Corruption? I, all you did was incriminate yourself. And look at these fools. That's all they know how to do. All right, authority to sign, okay? 6-15-2011, Brent. Now keep in mind, Brent was the lawyer back in 2011. Rosemary was the acting town clerk. And she has been illegally signing all documents on behalf of the town. Brent, uh, I signed many, many documents on behalf of the town on a regular basis. Our grant application with World Development wants to see a document that gives me that authority. I don't think we should have a special resolution for each document I'm going to sign. Can you take care of this, please? Thank you, Rose, Rosemary, Town Clerk, Town Otter Creek. Okay. First of all, the town should have had something in place that gave her authority. She does not have authority without that in place. So she adamantly admits that I've been signing many, 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 many documents. No authority whatsoever. That is not okay. And then when the lawyer goes to, when the lawyer goes to send her a resolution, she fires back, Brent, on May 18th, I sent you an email asking if you've written a resolution or authorizing me to sign documents on behalf of the town. Now, remember, we have emails all the way back to 2007. Right now, we're looking at 2011. 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. I mean, we've got a history here at least of five years. Five years of not even being authorized to sign on behalf of the town. And you said that you had not, we later spoke, you told me that you would have the resolution complete prior to the next meeting. I would like to have it for my meeting packet. Is that possible? Thank you. Rosemary Severino. Okay. Uh, now it gets to the point of... Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Brent fires back. Here you go. Here's a proposed resolution giving you authority to sign the strategies document. Brent, I don't need this. I need a resolution giving me authority to sign on behalf of the town. All documents necessary during the course of business. Do you understand? Brent, do you understand? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. This woman for years has been signing illegally. This woman has been running two multiple businesses that aren't associated with town hall at all, putting the entire town in legal liability. She's taken all of these individuals that she was booking with the charter, Lady Pirate, and now made all their private information public on a public record. They should all go after her and sue her. Every single individual should go after her and sue her. The state should go after her. She did finally get that authorization form. It's in here. Uh, but she also lost the town more money by being late. Constant. Constantly. Look at this. Hello, Shane. Uh, can you tell me if the town of Otter Creek is required to publish our 2010 CCR in a newspaper? I tried to call you both numbers. Uh, your phone is not in service at the time. Now, that's typically uh, a good excuse for someone who's late for something, right? Especially when they know they screwed up. Okay, let's go up here. Yes. Hey, Rose. Yes. Since Otter Creek is eligible for direct mailing waiver, you must publish the 10,010 CCR in a local newspaper before July 1st and send certificate of delivery in the consumer confidence report found here. I apologize for my phone. I've been out of town for the past two weeks. I had my phone forwarded. The number below should be working. And it's if not, please let me know. Okay, well, that's good news that um, he had his phone forwarded and it was working just fine. By the way, this is a Florida government official that she's communicating with. Hello, Shane. Thanks for the email. Unfortunately, at this late date, here we go again. Another date, completely and totally missed. Everything's behind. I mean, how could they ever get ahead in that mountain of garbage that they created? The way they live is the way they work, okay? And so at this date, I can't manage to have this published prior to July 6, 2011. What? A year! <laughs> 
remember this is the 2010 okay now we're talking about i can't even have it published prior to july 6 2011 what can i do i don't know what she's gonna do but i'm gonna go get some wd-40 right now because i keep slapping my head backwards and my chair keeps squeaking wd-40 good for town hall doors and office chairs Seems Otter Creek was put to the test back in 2011 with public records as well. Look at the actual email. The email is publicrecordsrequester at gmail.com. Now, what was going on back then is a lot of individuals were making lawsuits against a lot of different towns. And the reason was is because these towns are clueless. You have people like Rosemary who are not qualified for a position. And frankly, l literally, probably the only person qualified in Otter Creek for a town clerk position is Belinda. There, there's really nobody else, okay? And they have no clue. And then all of a sudden, they don't fulfill the records request, which they legally have to. Now they have a lawsuit against each and every one of these towns. And it, and it just goes on and on and on. And that's my guess what this individual is doing. He was actually just making an income based off of lawsuits. Publicrecordsrequester at gmail.com. Now you can see up here that Rosemary actually says public records request must be in writing and signed as well as prepaid. And that is correct, okay? And you have to prepay. You can't just you can't just go, "Well, I want all these records." You have to pay for them. It doesn't matter if somebody already got them before. It doesn't matter if they're on paper. It doesn't matter if you're getting them digitally. It does not matter. You have to pay for them. Every individual has to pay for them. I paid over $5,000 for all of these records. Okay. So, as well as prepaid, I expect the cost will be between 10 and 20. The cost is $1 per page. $1 per page. Now, I got to tell you, Belinda is giving people a heck of a deal in the office right now. Because last I checked, it was 15 cents per page. Rosemary, buck a page. Now, me being me, I have to wonder if she's skimming off the top a little bit there to fund Lady Pirate and to fund the real estate. But, buck a page. Uh, there it is right there in writing. In 2011, public records cost you $1 per page. Old timer days are coming up again. I thought that's where we were at already in Otter Creek. Back in my day, we had a YouTuber. He bought up all the land and we... We went to town hall when he wasn't there, and we said, we're taking our town back. And then we had to stop and catch our breath and take a nap. Did you know Otter Creek had a firearm ordinance? I mean, we don't have a police department, but we had a firearm ordinance right here, okay? 8-8-2011. Uh, and they had to put it in the paper because they were repealing the firearm ordinance. Whatever the firearm said, and uh, and I I think it was basically you could you could you could use a firearm with so much land, so much you have to have so much land backing the whole deal. I mean, so we already know safe uh, discharge of firearms, but in the actual incorporated city, it's usually typically different. But they were actually attached to final draft ordinance repealing. They were repealing the firearm ordinance. Now, I don't know if that means everybody can do whatever they want because I actually didn't open the draft. And and honestly, I haven't opened any of the attachments on any of these emails. I mean, there's so many. We are currently in the process of getting them all printed off, every attachment, every email, and then scanned in as a PDF, and then it will be for purchase as an ebook online. And so I haven't even looked at everything. I'm not even looking at it. But... There's so much shocking stuff in here. Firearm ordinance, firearm ordinance, find, find the finalized ordinance advertisement. For some reason, the newspaper needs the ad in rich text format. Um, here, she wants to bank online. Gun and the ordinance right here. Please publish this in the legal section. And so they must have had to have it in the legal section for... I mean, you don't typically post every ordinance or resolution. I'm, maybe this one was important enough. Here we go again. Firearm ordinance, Catholic for state. Should be da-da-da-da-da. Uh, here's all. Here it is right here. Repeal, repeal, repeal. Repeal, repeal, repeal. It's all repealing. 
Uh, okay, look at this, George. Look at you see that title right there. It says my little. I ain't even gonna read it. Whoa. I ain't even gonna read it. This is Otter Creek, way too close to way too close to Rosewood, and and um, the the hate. Uh, that comes from these individuals and what they do to people who aren't like them, which isn't that the beauty of God's creation? We're all made in his image and we're not all like him. And that's the beauty of it. That's the, what makes, that's what makes George and I's relationship um, work. It's the things that we're the not variety. alike. She's always like a little spice, a little variety, a little mystery. Mm, I love variety. Okay. Um, well, you wouldn't like that, would you? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, here's health insurance. Rose is actually trying to get health insurance in here for herself. Um, I think she's going to need a lot more than health insurance. She should have kept that bonding because she could be in a tremendous amount of trouble right now. Statute of limitations right now from what state investigators have told me, 10 years. So we're at 2011. Mm -hmm. So they can go 10 years back. We're not to 2014 yet, but there's could be, we should keep working in our direction there to see what we can send to the state. EP versus Town of Otter Creek consent order 1010. All right. October 10th, 2011. Dear Ms. Severino. Oh, her and Don have a little bit of a time where, um, you know, she was writing some other pretty juicy emails in here saying hey baby <laughs> uh oh wait and there was that um there was that naked thing in there as well there was, it was a bit awkward there's some things you do want to see and there's some things you can never unsee yeah it was awkward my name is art we're just gonna say art arturo arturo Aranda, and I'm the new inspector of Levy County. I would like to remind you that the system with the name, the town of Otter Creek, is already overdue on the consent order payment. The payment is $500, and the time it needs to be submitted by our department September 17, 2011. Let me know on the delay of this fine. Again, hiring, I can't stress this enough, hiring the wrong people not only cost the salary for that person for the town of Otter Creek, they cost heavy fines. The same was true of Mary Mary. And not only that, the loss of income coming from other agencies. Not the, uh, only that, the use of all the utilities and the resources of Town Hall to run multiple other buildings. This woman should have never, ever, just like Don the Khan, should never ever be in town hall in a capacity being paid for something they literally have no ability and no qualifications to do more ineptitude hey thanks bruce can you send me a list of otter creek's proposed projects thanks rose i was supposed to review it and i failed to locate it how could anybody locate anything in that office i hope the residents of otter creek are okay with all their information being out there in the internet and you may be thinking, well, Jeremy, we didn't have a choice. You're putting it out there. Well, it wasn't me. It was Rosemary. She had the entire account hacked. Look at this. Anybody who gets an email like this who has common sense. Now, you have to understand Russ the Sus doesn't even have common sense. He doesn't even understand that emails can go to a junk folder. Why would Melinda send this email to a junk folder here in Odor Creek? Um, maybe you got a junk mind. You can't figure it out. Anybody with normal common sense would understand. Last warning, da-da-da-da-da. It was at this point that we shared that Rosemary actually got the town hall email address. Well, he got hacked. And in that shot, we showed information from email address to date to, and you name it. So it's the AI system in YouTube that picks this up with the words that we said, internet hacking, and then went, whoa, this is not okay. YouTube messages us and tells us exactly what the information is. You can see right there. The issue is that there was information shown that the AI system picks up and goes, oh, if anybody got that, that could actually be hacking. As a matter of fact, they even tell us exactly where it occurred in the video. So what we've done is instead of 
letting that happen here in the video, we've spliced it and we've cut it out. Now this has happened to us before. As a matter of fact, George and I found a laptop in a storage unit and it said right there, password, and it had the information. And AI booted the entire video. It banned it, it deleted it, but usually we upload a day before. And so the AI system goes through and checks everything and it tells us before we actually release the next day. Well, on this particular day, we actually uploaded the exact day you saw it. So the AI system didn't catch it yet in time for us to catch it, to then edit it, take it out, and put it back up. This time, though, it'll stay up forever. She literally falls for it and gets hacked. Everybody's information was out on the internet well before YouTuber Jeremy Hales and George came into the area. Because your individual that you were paying to do the job for you got all your info hacked on the internet. We know from a previous email that Rosemary was making $12,000 a year in this temporary position. And now she's searching for health insurance. And now we know exactly how much she paid. $615 per month. And you're going, oh my goodness, Jeremy, you should never know this information. Uh, let me back up for you. Oh my goodness, she should have never been doing this and making it public information. The world should know this information. That's the whole point of public information. So Rosemary was making $1,000 a month, if we do the math, and, and I'm going to do real math. A lot of times, George and I joke around in the videos, and we do the math wrong just to poke fun at Mary Mary Math is Scary, because that's the way we handle the stress. We, we, we laugh, okay? So <coughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not laughing. Okay. 12000 a year divided by 12 months, that's $1,000 a year. Rosemary picks a plan for health insurance, 615 per month. So we know she was literally only pocketing $385 a month. She was doing this job just for health insurance. And let's be very clear, she wasn't even doing the job. She missed all the deadlines, she lost all the money, and she was running her other businesses out of the office. She used you, Otter Creek residents, for health insurance. Want more proof she wasn't doing her job? Okay. Third request. Third request. Provide the audit. Provide the audit. Okay. Really, you have to ask an employee who works part-time. Like, this is the easiest job in the world. Um, you have to ask the easy for person who has common sense. And when I go, hey, Belinda's the best person in this town for this position, she really is because she has a tremendous amount of common sense, okay? And so look at this. Valerie, I apologize for the delay. I will work on it now and I'll finalize it by this afternoon uh, or by Monday. Okay, third request already for the audit. Third request. What is she doing in the office that she can't get this done? That somebody has to ask three times for a legal audit? That this is the main responsibility for this person who's working on behalf of the residents? She's not. She's literally not doing the job that she's hired for. She had plenty of time to forward ridiculous emails like this one, the Irish Blessing. You remember when you would get all those emails and be like, hey, forward this to 10 people or you're going to have bad luck all day? Mm -hmm. Well, she got the Irish blessing and then she forwarded it to Cedar Key and to looks like Hazelwood and Pookie somebody and yeah, who knows? All right, let's, let's look down here. Since she was forwarding it, the world was forwarding it. All about Irish blessings. I want this back. It does work. You know who didn't work? Rosemary. Jumping into 2012, what a year. And she's got another public records request to whom it may concern, pursuant to Article 1, Section 24, this is Chapter 19. It's basically, that's the, that's the statute for public records, okay? And the name, of, uh, the name of your purchase order system, electronic file purchase order since January 1st, 2008, include PO, PO date, vendor name, da 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 and it says, should you deny my request, please state in writing the basis for the denial, including the exact statutory citation authorizing the denial. Okay, so this is what I would call, um, again, legal fishing, all right? They're casting it out to these small municipalities and that they, they, they know people like Rosemary exist that should never be in the position in the first place. As a matter of fact, I'm Really, the town of Otter Creek should have never been incorporated at this point in time. There was a purpose, and there was a great purpose for it in the beginning. 
but they don't know the laws. They can't keep up with the laws. And there's no accountability for a person like Rosemary, who's supposed to be working, who isn't working. And what's her response? Hello, Peter. Peter Cameron. Uh, purchases for the town of Otter Creek are very few. They're limited to a few cleaning items from paper products, soap, toilet paper. Oh, man. Little did we know in 2020, toilet paper would be like gold, gold, and Otter Creek had their hands on it at this point in time. All right, we got paper towels, some office supplies, copy of toner, paper, uh, staples, clips, binder clips, tape, pens, pencils. We're not, uh, we are not using purchase orders at the present time. We haven't in the past 10 years. So do you think this is maybe... She's been 10 years in the position thus far, mm -hmm. stealing from the residents of Otter Creek. Yes. Stealing time, money, funds. I mean, okay. Uh, our annual budget is less than 100000 and still is to this day, and we only have one part-time employee. I would, uh, I would adjust that, that and say Otter Creek only has one employee that doesn't do their job. <laughs> and it literally does not do their job. I just read another one up here that said, oh, I'm sorry about the delay. I think it was here, like right here. Look at this. Uh, copy of, sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. Every single email is, sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. I know this is a year late. Sorry for the delay. Every day I wake up, I'm, I, I always say nothing else can surprise me in Otter Creek. And every day something else does. You're not going to believe this, George. Look at this. Hey, Rose. By the way, this is from the lawyer. Hey, Ro hello, Rose. Can you please give me the address of the lady that has the road through the middle of her house? Only in Otter Creek, things get otter and otter. Talk about encroachment. And otter. <laughs> and, and, and I don't use that term often. The ultimate encroachment. There is a road. Look, here's the address. Her name is Arlen Waits. The property may say Shillably, her, her maiden name. The address is 60 Southwest 3rd Lane. I, I feel like we need to go on a field trip. And see this road that is going through somebody's house. Now, if you're going, hey, listen, you're sharing somebody's address. This is all public record. Rose made this all public record. If anybody in the world wants to be at, mad at anybody for being shown, you'd be mad at Rosemary for making it public record. I found the property. It's right here, okay? And it's, um, it's roughly... 5.71 acres. The neighbor is none other than Mary Mary. Property records are scary. So apparently it's this right here, five acres. The road is right here. This is Southwest Third Lane. I, 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 I'm not sure if they put the house right here. Let's Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Remember, this has been quite a few years now. I mean, the house would have been right here. You can see the road. I'll zoom in one more time. So there would have had to have been a house literally right here. And at some point, this is this is the acreage right here. This is Mary Mary's house. This is the acreage. I I guess I, I guess it says it was a mobile home. Might have been a mobile home literally right in the road. Only in Otter Creek. To keep reading, look at here. The the lawyer wants to know, hello, Rose, what's the name of the street that runs north and south through the property? So, George, we were just looking east and west. The main, that, that main lane is east and west. So in that five acres, there must be, oh, do I still, do I still have it up? Oh no, I, I have it up on a on a storage unit I'm actually bidding on. So in that five acres, not going the way that we showed, the other way, there must be an old road running through there. We we definitely have to go check that out today. I struggle whether I should share some of this stuff or not, tongue in cheek, but I'm going to anyway. Uh 
because there was gossip. There was constant gossip about the individuals that live in Otter Creek. And and so this one is um, talking about a baby boom. The largest growth segment in the town was 300% increase to population under five years of age. A baby boomlet beginning in 2005 accounted for the eight of the 13 population growth in 2010 census. Now, Rosemary... <laughs> um, Rosemary makes these next comments not out of a pure heart or not out of information. It's complete and total gossip. Now, if you know what the residents of Otter Creek know, then you understand why. And Rosemary says, I think half of the eight belong to Bonnie Gray, Joy Sada's daughter. So you're going, Joy? There's a Joy? Well, we really haven't highlighted Joy, nor do we feel the need to highlight Joy because Joy hasn't been a person that has done anything to us personally, but I want Joy and others to know these people were constantly talking about you and your families behind your back. Russell doesn't know that emails can go to a spam or a junk folder, but Rosemary knows what an MP4 is. She also knows what Skype is, believe it or not. Look at this, George. I have Skype set up on my laptop. I'll run it and get it later. I don't want to set it up on this computer. Okay. Why would she not want to set it up on the computer she's actually emailing from? She's obviously running multiple businesses from this computer. What at what what does she have to hide at this point? I mean, it's all out there. She's talking about all the residents behind their backs. She's running businesses. She can't meet any deadline. She's losing all kinds of money. Now Skype, downloading Skype, that's the line. Like, that's the line. Whoa, not going there. Uh, who knows what she was using the Skype call for? Let's see. Uh, what's the best time to call? I noticed your email was sent at 4 a.m. Woo! Somebody was looking for a little rosemary for their meal. Uh, wow, you start earlier than I do for sure. Rose. And then he says, oh, it's George, by the way. Not my George. No, 4 a.m. doesn't exist for my George. Uh, mornings are usually best. I get up very early. I do errands from 10 to 1. I nap from 2 to 4. What's your Skype name? Okay, everybody want to know what her Skype name is now? Remember, it's public information. Lady Pirate. It is not Lady Pirate. And um, as much as I potentially do want to share it, you got to get that in the French toast casserole recipe when we put out the full ebook. Need an annual audit. And to have an annual audit, the auditors, the independent agency that has to do the audit, you can't do it yourself. You have to have somebody from the outside to do it for accountability purposes. Need to know where all the money goes. And remember, they could never figure it out with Mary Mary or Rosemary. Look at this here. So this is from Powell and Jones on the waterfront checking. Check number 2103 cleared in August for the amount of $18.30. But I don't find anything either in your July, your August folders. Ba -da 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 -da. And we can go on and on with more information. As a matter of fact, there's quite a few emails in here trying to figure out information for the audit. What is her response? Hello, Becky. I can't find anything on the water check. Now, let's pause right there. Pause right there. Your clerk, your keeper of the records, the person who's writing checks, who's supposed to be balancing all of the budget, who's, who's supposed to be reconciling all of the funds, her first words out of her mouth is, I can't find anything on the check. The only person that should be able to find anything is her. And that's the first words out of her mouth. From the amount, um, I'm going to guess it was a maintenance item. I feel rather certain. Uh, hold a second. This is an audit. I feel rather certain. No, it is what it's for, how much it's for, where is it? This is for an audit. This is, this is just mind-blowing to me. Now, some of you may not understand the seriousness of this. This is based on how much money the town gets, whether grants are given or not, the whole deal. Uh, but she feels fairly certain. I don't know where it is either. Like, this is huge. Immediate termination. Immediate termination should have existed and happened right here. Not, well, let's, let's, let's back up. 2007, it should have happened. I just, I, it blows my mind. Uh, I'm rather certain the GF check was a void. Wait, I feel rather certain the check was a void now and not marked as such. Okay, so now it's a void. Wait, it was a maintenance item or was it a void? How in the world are the independent 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are CPAs. These are accountants. I mean, they must just be shaking their head going. This is why Otter Creek has the reputation that Otter Creek has. This. I mean, it just... Oh, you're, you're, you're viewing it. It's spewing it in these emails. All right. I'm, I'm trying to mail out the information October 10th. Uh, October 11 files in a few minutes along with the contract. I'm still trying to locate my budget worksheet. I just can't even figure out a budget worksheet. And it goes on and on and on. I mean, I, I just, I can't fathom. I can't fathom how anybody in the town could have ever thought this was okay. Which we know Russell didn't. Russ the sus because he put Charlene, his daughter, up to trying to go after all of these people. And he tried to get everybody to get signatures to unincorporate the town. And yet, even this past week, he's out there going, We're taking our town back. What? She sent an email into my junk mailbox. Why would she send it in my junk mailbox? And he's that ignorant these are the people that are running this town more on it becky i'm having trouble finding or locating the budget detail would you look in the back of the minutes in august september i am still looking the file must be half an inch thick oh my goodness how in the world can this be the keeper of the records the official legal title of the town clerk and she can't even find her budget detail it's half an inch thick and you lost it couldn't keep track of the budgeting, but they could sell Avon back and forth all day. Like, this this is just mind-boggling to me. Uh, so, Clea was the mayor at the time, sending everybody in selling Avon. And then, Connie, if you open this, Dieter will not be able to deliver your order. You can order directly, have your order, da-da-da-da-da. Uh, if you're able to order online, I'll send a check back to you. Thanks so much, Rosemary. Whoa! Is this the third business? Holy cow! This is a third business third running out of business. Town Hall. Holy cow. I, I, maybe Clea. Wait, two Clea from Rose. Oh, it's two Clea. It's Rosemary running an Avon business out of Town Hall. This is three. Three businesses. And she can't do anything for the people of the residents of the town. This is absolutely insanity. Now she's selling. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was Clea doing it. It's Rosemary. Oh, oh, oh man. Hi, Rosemary. Just placed an uh, order. Just tear my check up. Thanks for sending the link. Have a good summer, Connie. Oh, my goodness. Thanks. Hap you Hope you have a, a, a good summer. I, I can't even believe this. I can't even fathom this. I cannot fathom this. Now everybody's Avon orders are in here as well. The, the absolute... Do Don... She's corrupt, Don. She's corrupt.